Hi, I'm Sarah Rodriguez with On The Radar. A TV news crew out of D.C. that set out to determine whether a local neighborhood was indeed as sketchy as a new app suggested ended up becoming crime victims. As a three-person crew from WUSA-TV interviewed the residents of the Pentworth neighborhood to see how they felt about the sketchy designation, they weren't thrilled. Someone busted into the parked van and stole most of their gear. The thieves also stole one crew member's purse, and she was able to track it to a nearby dumpster where her phone was inside. As for the app, the crew didn't name it, but business insiders say it sounds like a new one called Sketch Factor. The idea is to give users a sense of particular neighborhood sketchiness factor, and it's not sitting well with critics. At Valley Wag, for instance, Sam Biddle calls it racist because it's all about helping white people avoid black neighborhoods. Sketchy, he adds, is the term young white people use to describe places where they don't feel safe because they watched all five seasons of The Wire. It's the kind of story that almost has to come with a Portland dateline. It seems that on Monday evening, a concerned citizen called Portland's non-emergency line to report a chicken crossing the road. Prefacing his concern with, hi, um, this is actually not a prank call. The man proceeded to inform dispatch of the chicken, resulting in this conversation as per the Oregonian dispatcher. Is it causing traffic problems, concerned citizen? Yes, it's really trying to go into the middle of the road. Dispatcher, uh, yeah, um, is it just the one chicken? Concerned citizen, just one chicken, yeah. Dispatcher, and your, is it, I mean, are, are people almost crashing because of it? Or, concerned citizen, I had to slow down to almost a complete stop. Unfortunately, responding officers saw no sign of the offending chicken, thus leading police rep to tell the AP that police, wait for it, were unable to determine the chicken's intent. Archaeologists in Greece are nearly ready to enter what they say is the biggest ancient tomb ever unearthed in the country. The tomb at the ancient site of Amphipolis in the Macedonia region, around 65 miles northeast of Thessaloniki, dates from around 300 BC, the time of Alexander the Great. Though experts don't believe it belongs to the warrior king who died in what is now Iraq, the Telegraph reports, Two carved sphinxes flank the entrance to the tomb, which is surrounded by a 540-yard marble outer wall. It looks like the tomb of a prominent Macedonian of that era, a culture ministry official tells Reuters. Archaeologists have spent the last couple years excavating the ancient burial mound under which the tomb was found, and they plan to enter the tomb within the next two weeks, reports NBC which adds that there is one clue to its possible occupant. Research believe a 16-foot stone lion unearthed in the area a century ago and associated with Laomedon of Mytilene, one of the Alexanders the Great's military commanders once stood atop the tomb. And that's what's on the radar with Sarah Rodriguez.